here booktube my name is Christina and I'm back with a review after a while and I so hoped not to film this kind of review but unfortunately it's an unhappy review about American Gods by Neil Gaiman who would have ever imagined that this will happen in my life but here I am reviewing this book so First, let me start with a little bit of history of how I read this book. Uh, this is a 500 and something pages book and I started it in August this year while I was traveling with my boyfriend to Sicily. We were traveling by car, so it's a very, very long journey there and then back again. It sounds like the Frodo adventures, but well, yeah, <laughs> it was very long. And uh, I was reading this book to him out loud because I never read it and I wanted to read something with him, something that he may enjoy. And uh, this was an experience because for me it was the first time reading out loud a book for someone and this may have influenced my experience of this book. And then uh, for him it was a first listening me reading a book and discovering this way that he really enjoys the idea of an audiobook. <laughs> and so yeah <laughs> that was a win but uh, then we stopped after we came back here and never picked it up again so i really had to force myself during january and february to try and finish this book because i don't know just the interest died somehow in this story and that's not a good sign first of all but now let me get to the book and explain you a little bit more so i don't know how to classify this one it's an adult for sure it is set in a, in a contemporary world but i don't know if it's classified like fantasy or magic realism not very sure there are some fantastical elements but they are i don't know really don't know how to classify it exactly, but it's an adult book. And it's the first time I'm reading something adult by Neil Gaiman, because I love his Caroline and uh, Coraline <laughs> and his uh, uh, Stardust books. I've not enjoyed one that he has written for young adults, I believe. It's never where, never something. I will put the title up here. So this is a first and unfortunately it didn't end very well. In this book we are following our main protagonist who is called Shadow. He is a prisoner who at the beginning of the story is being just released and he meets a very unique character called Wednesday and we will be following their journey through this book. And being the title American Gods I don't think that it's a huge spoiler for you to know that in this book we will be meeting gods and goddesses from all over the world in America. And the potential, the potential in this kind of concept is just, I don't know, endless probably, but let me get to exactly what I disliked about this book without being too spoilery, or without being spoilery at all. So, first of all, is the language. The language that the author uses in this book and the way of writing, more precisely, wasn't for me. It was too strange. The dialogues were like too harsh and dry for me, but with very short sentences and they sounded very mechanical, not natural at all, and uh, in a realistic kind of situation with people telling me something like some of the things that are written here, I would have asked a lot of questions to know more, but the characters just kind of shrug and go like, oh, okay, wherever, that's fine, if you tell so, and just go on with their life. So this, the dialogues and the descriptions, the descriptions in this book. There is so much unnecessary details in here about just the most irrelevant things like for example we have two pages about how cold is the water of an icy lake for real an icy lake cold water who would have imagined yeah 
so I wasn't a fan of this one probably because I was reading it out loud and when you're reading out loud I noticed that you tend to notice some different things while you're reading like the pacing, the amount of descriptions, how the dialogues are written because you're giving voice to the dialogues probably if I would have just read it in my head it would have been different but it happened that way so that's my experience so yeah the way of writing I wasn't a fan of I don't know if to blame the translation it can be very easy to blame the translation but I don't think that it's the translator's fault in this case then we have the characters and if you don't like the writing style maybe you enjoy the character nope not happened because our main protagonist who is called shadow actually well his name is very very perfect for him he's like a shadow he just accepts everything that happens he never questions anyone or anything he never takes action and does something for himself only at the end of the book we have like him making a couple of decisions and even those never bring to something very special. So wasn't a fan of the main protagonist and wasn't a fan of the others because they all were bi-dimensional. Just flat, flat characters with no change, with hardly comprehensible motivations, and it just wasn't enough. I mean, I know that in such a book we can use the fact that there are a lot of gods. Each god is a kind of an archetype, and so it has to be flat and very stereotypical. But it wasn't like that. It wasn't very stereotypical for you in order for you to be able to understand better who was doing what, what were the motivations. It was just at random, and I've not enjoyed it. So, writing, characters, the plot. Maybe the plot will solve everything. Nope. This was, at least for me, a 500 pages travel by car through America. And I wasn't a fan. It wasn't what I was expecting, like, at all. It was boring, with too many strange descriptions about nothing and with little action when it happened it was very episodic and strange we had some elements of the plot that can easily be just taken out of the book and the book will still live and will still say the same and nothing will change if we take off those parts so i believe that this book can be like the half of its actual size and uh, this is never a good thing if you can take away some parts of the book and it will still be the same because it means that probably, I don't know, you could have edited it better or thought something more exciting and then the last blow for it was the fact that we have this constant build up and uh, we're trying to reach this kind of climax in the end towards the end of the book and you're expecting this huge action to explode and stuff to happen and just it will be amazing and breathtaking and never happens. Nothing happens. Nothing. So the thing that really bothered me in this case was that this, in my opinion, was a huge waste of potential. Because when you're talking about a book set in America with gods and goddesses coming from all around the world with the amazing concept that people arriving in America, the immigrants, they brought their gods and beliefs to America, so those adapted and now live there, and we are supposed to follow this kind of a conflict among the old gods and the new gods, like for example, money, uh, social media, TV, internet, and so on, the potential is huge. So this book can become like a thriller, a mystery, an action book, a superhero book, it can be um, metaphysical, it can be philosophical, it can be 
so so much more than that because I don't really know how to classify this. So yeah, this is my real opinion about this book and I'm very very sorry about it because I was hoping to love it. I know that it's a favorite of so many people and they enjoy it and they like the TV show. I never watched the TV show. I wanted to read the book first. I will try in the future maybe and see if it's better in the television form. But I really want to know if you've read this book and if you love it, I'm sorry, I don't want to trash your beloved book, but I really want to understand why you love it so much, what's so special in this story, because at the end it left me with nothing. I was hoping for amazing quotes, I was hoping for thought-provoking moments, but nothing, just nothing. It's kind of a waste of time. For me, it was kind of a waste of time. Reading it to stars is kind of a demonstration of it. So, yeah, wasn't a fan, unfortunately. If you enjoyed it and you read it, please let me know down below why you loved it. If you are planning to read it, then of course, by all means, give it a try, read it, because so many people love it. I'm just one voice in a million. So give it a try and then let me know what you thought about it. And if you read other Neil Gaiman's book, let me know, because I've read some and enjoyed them, and then there is this one, and it's probably the one that I enjoyed the least for now. So let me know. And this was it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope to be able to come back soon with other reviews. But for now, this is it. Bye! Ciao!